Kim Ga. Uh, as you can see, 2 nothing in the head-to-head. -head. The last time they met was at the Uber Cup Finals. And that, but this is her second final, Aya. So 18 years old, born in Jayapura. She is Aya Hori. has been in great form, 27-year-old from Fukushima. Uh, she's currently ranked 11th because of her great performance. Her recovery is actually pretty good, too. And there's also this almost never say die attitude that she likes to push through in three games at the Uber Cup. But Esther definitely one of the reasons why Indonesia had such a great. And Ahori has um, neutralized some really fast paced players, Carolina Marin. tournaments their stadiums are much larger conditions are not as stable so yeah that's um, true that i mean interview from this tournament preparation for paris which is just six weeks away now oh beautiful shot from water In. Wodoyo has possibly left too many at the back, and that's never, it's not going to work all the time. That's another well, a long time in Japan. Well, yeah, I mean, if you have that kind of knowledge, it can always help. It's fast play. That's a nice touch. That's all. That's when we'll see uh, the full version of a Hori. Well, so far, for her first ever Super 500 final, she's been doing very well. She has picked up a Super 100. Well, she has to start channeling all that extra experience she has from playing on the tour. One thing Esther has, racket head speed, that's what it's all about. big and it's going to be finished and that just keeps going that's what Supernita and Kim Garam found very irritating in terms of um, the other side let's see if Ayahori has a better grip on things from this side Both. Into your opponent. <laughs> Into your opponent. <laughs> Bullet shot, I like to call them. That's big. No, nope. wow, that was the first game the Hori's dropped all week. And that's also going to be weighing on her mind. That's much better. I've been eager to point out um, <laughs> for the 3-2, if I recall. That's a nice hold and drop by Wardoyo. Uh, bringing the net into play. That. Well, I Hori, not the kind no, of uh, um, yeah. kinetic player that Supernita is. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Supernita, definitely. Uh, she's runs down points and is so fast around court. I guess you have to be that sort. Wow. Both. Well waited. Has been coming in. She has found the opportunity. It's just that one next shot that she can't um, today. And it's been too powerful. That's better. Well, that's one of the main things of sport. If you can win when you're not playing well, then that's actual true championship quality. Up and they saw, <laughs> they saw what this was all about. And Aya Horia kind of delayed a bit. She, as I said, she was almost a victim. But, uh, that Esther was looking for the big shot, and I think that she was going to have to pick a different strategy. Oh, how did that come back? It's a 
slot. Of course, they will change mid game. Feeling good. It's uh, also uh, a soft skill um, that she would have been training for. Service over. Well, you know, they have said there are some players, Yamaguchi's nice enough. Opportunities. Right. Because that but is she has to be able to read the pace of her opponent first and get used to it. Well, she tried to get. And Mordoya has definitely been scoring on intercepted short rallies with big shots by Wadoya. Oh, we saw Luke Warren simmering. before. Simmering. That's in. Service That's better. Over. Match from both the players. We can see them huffing and puffing. Um, maybe Wardoyo is not huffing as much, Service but you can see it drenched in perspiration. Yeah, caught. And that's where she's finishing up. It's the yeah. kind of gamble that singles players take. It's, the, it's obvious that that's what she wanted to do. She oh. wanted definitely to finish. Conversely, has played well considering she's not on 100% top form. And now that she's ahead here, she seems to... Well, there are so many factors of the game that Esther Wadoyo has to sharpen up on. She was wondering what was going on. She was spinning rackets in the air, and now she's forcing errors. Wadoya will have to think, can I cover the rear court when it lifts to the back if I'm tired myself? Yeah, and then she, of course, could be caught on the flanks. That's wonderful. I think that second... Once again, so harsh for these players. That's a little bit worrying for Oreo. She's done it. 